And it takes two to tango. And your partner's opinions and values matter just as much as your own. You decide to be with them. You know what I mean? If you would decide to be with them, you need to hear them out. Listen. Sag will stay single forever, literally forever, just because it means they don't have to answer to anyone when they fuck up. Oh my god. You know, and that to me sounds like self-sabotage. Oh my so god. heal yourself. Like oh my I said. god. I think I need to exit the room, everybody. <laughs>
and, and they are enough. The person you're trying to get to know as is. Okay, that's fine. Maybe they're not the one for you, but they are enough. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they are enough. Mm -hmm. You know? And they have qualities that you don't have that can help make up for, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, so just stop being Captain Save the Ho. Oh. <laughs> Really stop. You know, what really I mean? though, like either no, actually, they are what you want or they're not. Stop trying to fix people ooh. to be the best version of themselves because you're right. working on a whole project and they're your project. Let's be real. I feel like Virgo will go after somebody who they may be because they can focus on them instead of themselves. Exactly. Go watch that Virgo roast. Oh, how about that? Shit. All right, next sign that I think is scared of love <laughs> is Gemini. I feel like Gemini is my most love. I feel like Gemini is afraid of love because they don't want to be bored. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's be real. They know People they're are interested. Yeah. I mean, well, also they know that there's a lot of options. You know what I mean? And they're very friendly and they get along with a lot of people. So yeah. it's like, how do I know that you're not my person? Is it behind door number one? Door right. Number two? Is it you? Is it you? Is it I don't know. Me? I don't know. And I feel like Gemini's also see a lot of couples getting stuck in a routine once committed and Therefore, like that joy or that spark kind of starts to fizzle out. Yeah. And I feel like that's a Gemini's worst fear. Like you must keep the spark and the joy and the love alive. Otherwise they will lose interest. Like yeah. Gemini has a very hard time at acting interested when they're not actually interested. You know For what I mean? sure. For they're sure. like very childlike in that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they can't. They'll give you the style, Jimmy. They're right. gone. They just won't talk. <laughs> no, Go find exactly, someone else. Exactly. Like, their brain needs to be constantly stimulated. And if you're holding them back, like, quite frankly, you just won't because as their side, exactly, they won't take flight and they're going to leave. Like, yeah. they're not going to attach themselves to somebody who is being, like, still or, like, bland. Yeah. You know? They want someone who's willing to experience shit with, with them. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to, you're going to be with them. Truly. And I feel like both. Virgo to me and Gemini, this mm -hmm. mercurial energy, like they need a lot of time yeah. to like think all of their feelings over and to feel really safe before they settle down with anyone. For sure, they're both Virgo and Gemini, their thoughts can get the best of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you do need to be someone who is willing to give them that time. Mm -hmm. You really do. Otherwise, they'll feel like you are trying to ground them and they don't always want to be grounded. They're not listening with that. And you're like, well, I don't know, Virgo's an earth sign. Of course Virgo wants to be grounded. Mutable. Virgo is mutable. Yeah. <laughs> no. Even though they can ground themselves when it comes to their mind They're a flexi emotions, earth sign, they're okay? moving. <laughs> okay, next. The next sign that I picked for who is the most scared of love is Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Yes, my own sign. Mm -hmm. You know, Scorpio wants that deep, intense, passionate love more than anybody, but after being burned in their earlier years, they take that sweet, tender part of themselves and shove it down deep somewhere where no one can ever find. Sometimes we ourselves can't even find. You know what I mean? Scorpio is fucking terrified of love because they know what happens when you let go of control. And yes, newsflash Scorpios, true love requires you to let go of all that control. You know, Venus is in detriment in Scorpio for a reason. We don't even know the difference between love and war. You know, the same. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That can be really hard. That can yeah. be really hard. Scorpio being Mars ruled knows that there is that fine line between love and war and between love and hate. And once Scorpio allows themselves to fall for someone, they know that stability that they worked so hard for may turn into havoc. All in the name of love. You know what I mean? Like, we just worked so hard to finally be grounded, stable, mm -hmm. happy. But now this person, this person that I'm feeling, can take all that away. Yeah. I don't know if I'm willing to risk it all just for this person. You know what I mean? Like, Scorpio doesn't want their anger to get the best of them or their jealousy to get the best of them or their intensity and obsessiveness to get the best of them because once those ugly emotions come out it's hard to contain them you know it really is and love will bring out those ugly emotions out of you for everybody mm -hmm. you know what i mean so learn to deal with it scorpio so your partner doesn't have to Ooh, you know Ooh. and sometimes we make our partners who didn't sign up for this deal with all this shit that we didn't deal with from our childhood, from our teenage years. We make them, you know what I mean, feel like we have trust issues and it's justified. But it's like, well, they're not the ones that gave you these trust issues. 
for real. Someone else is it, so you can't keep punishing them for it just because you have a lot of passion, anger, jealousy, like obsessiveness, whatever it may be for you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? True love deserves trust. Yeah. No, but I love that you pick Scorpio though, because honestly, to me, I feel like I know Scorpio energy and I know that they can be one of the biggest lovers, but to me, they are very scared of being rejected in love. Yeah. You know what I mean? They love very passionately, but they're afraid to not be fully accepted for who they are. You know, Absolutely. they fully accept their lovers and really kind of whoever they're putting their intention behind, but that's not always reciprocated to them. It's not. And you know, Am I it's, scary? It's, it's so scary because you don't want to look dumb. Yeah. The thing is like Scorpio is afraid of love because they know they're, we know we give our all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All when it comes to love. So during our adulthood, we hold ourselves back a lot until we find our match, like our actual match. Yeah. You know, a Scorpio's match is usually someone that can match that intense, passionate energy. Otherwise to us, it's not worth it. Like why would I give my all to someone you know, be obsessing over you if you're just cool and you don't care. Like, why yeah. the fuck would I do that? Like, that just feels like I'm doing myself a disservice. I don't want to go home and have this guilty conscience of, well, I'm making myself look stupid because I'm giving you my everything and you're giving me back 50%. For sure. I mean, it makes Love you is important act. To us. No, for sure. It makes you act not in your highest yeah. vibration or your true self, even. Absolutely. You know what I mean? When you feel threatened in love absolutely the, truly the thing is like when you are in a happy place in love or even by yourself you can accomplish a lot of things that aren't associated to love you can be in a good place with your family doing great at your job like your passion mm -hmm. projects are on 10 but i know y'all know what i'm talking about scorpios maybe some other people too where when you are not in a good place with your lover the person you're crushing on the person you're feeling it's hard for you to focus on that other shit yeah. and that holds you back that's not fair. Like, I don't know about you guys, but that's some of the things I regret, but I'm learning to be okay with. Like, I regret how much of my life and time was taken from me because I was focusing on the wrong things because I wasn't in a stable place when it came to the people that I was romantically involved with. Mm -hmm. I I let go of a lot of other parts of my life. I, de I deprioritized them because I wasn't in a good place when it came to my love life. And I was young, so I give, my, I give myself that grace, but I know Scorpios, I know how y'all are. That's why you guys are scared of love. You don't want to get to that place again where you make someone your everything and they don't treat you right and you have all of a sudden stopped focusing on all the other shit that makes you happy. Yeah, well I think that's also why it's scary too. I think it's maybe almost in like an innate nature type of sense that you're going to fully encompassly love that way. Yeah. So when it's not reciprocated, it's like, Yes, you're gonna act crazy. So then, yeah, that's why you put people through a lot of trials and tribulations to make sure. Are that you worth it? Good. Do you love me? You know. Yeah, it's finding that <laughs> then, balance. But then it's like you said. It's like, why are you punishing the person who didn't give you these trust and issues to begin with? Exactly. You know. Absolutely. Listen yeah. to your gut. Mm -hmm. And heal yourself. <laughs> <laughs> heal yourself. Heal yourself. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, Emma, not least, is Sagittarius. And I feel like us Sages are scared of love because I feel like we don't want to commit to the wrong person, you know? I feel like we really value our freedom above anything and everything else. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people want to control you and change you in relationships. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's obviously never gonna fly with the Sag, it never flew with me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> as soon as we feel people starting to get a little controlling or like having really even too much of an opinion on our lifestyle, not you. dropped, done, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's like, why? Yeah. Why am I going to be around somebody when I value my freedom so much and you're trying to kind of stunt my growth in that way? I feel Make like. You feel insecure. Yeah. About stepping into your power. Yeah. I feel like scabs are. Scabs. <laughs> scabs are scabs. Scabs are scabbing. <laughs> Sages are skeptical of people because we fear that they want to control us or hold us back from our opportunities, you know? Yeah. And like, we all know Sag is our opportunist, you know? And it is partially because we are ruled by Jupiter, yeah. you know, the planet of expansion. Therefore, we're always trying to, you know, experience and expand and adventure and explore in this life. And I feel like not many signs are actually down for that. 
feel like a lot of people really prefer comfort and that's totally yeah. fine but I think the Sag's nature kind of excites people so they're like oh I want to do it too and then when you realize that that's how they always want to be it's too much for it's them to handle. For they don't know how to do it. Yeah. They really don't. And truly, I feel like Sages almost prefer their freedom more than they do love. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Love, in a sense, can like hold them back. Yeah. I feel like. I I mean, I, I completely see that. That's which is why Sag is one of the signs that I picked too. I feel like Sagittarius is afraid of love because of what society has deemed to be the perfect love in the first place. Sag is scared of love holding them back in life. They think when you fall in love, the adventure stops. Uh -huh. Which doesn't have to be the case, Sag. <laughs> it really doesn't. You know, Sag, like you said, wants freedom, but society has told us with monogamous love comes restraints. Well, you know, I got good news for you, Sag, okay? Detail. Society, <laughs> your family, the movies you watch, they all lie to you. Yes, they're all fucking liars. Mm. You can make your own definition of love. You really fucking can. And the right person will never ever suppress your thirst for adventure and mm. freedom. They really mm -hmm. won't. And if someone's doing it, they're not your person. Let them go. Find Thanks. someone else who is on your level. Ain't wrong you know, <laughs> another reason, exactly, another reason why Sag is afraid of love is their self-righteousness. You know, Sag hates compromise, they love being right, and you know, their mutable fire. Are you feeling some type of I am feeling some type of fire over here, okay? <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> she right though, so you can continue. Okay. <laughs> their mutable, Sag is mutable fire nature wants to do what it wants when it wants when it comes to love you know you can't be right all the time Sag especially when you're in love especially when it's a partnership it takes two to tango and your partner's a <laughs> you're like oh. I'm being so annoying I can't I love you she's so right though no. I'm being so annoying y'all better be listening to her okay <laughs> Like I said, you can't be right all the time, Sag. And it takes two to tango. And your partner's opinions and values matter just as much as your own. You decide to be with them. You know what I mean? If you decide to be with them, you need to hear them out. Listen. Sag will stay single forever, literally forever, just because it means they don't have to answer to anyone when they fuck up. Oh my god. You know, and that to me sounds like self-sabotage. Oh my so god. heal yourself. Like oh my I said. god. I think I need to exit the room, everybody. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but it's so true. I but you. Feel you're good. You've been working on no, this. No, it's You know true. what I mean? I'm like, it's true. Every sign we listed, th this doesn't mean that like, oh, this is your end all be all. No. You, you are scared of love. Like, not at all. You all can work on these things. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. You all can. And even people who are happy-go-lucky when it comes to love, like Pisces, Libra, <laughs> Cancer. Like, uh -huh. if you guys want us to do a, a video about that, we will too. But like, these signs, they also have to work on some shit too because they are too available. They are too open. Right. They are too trusting. Mm -hmm. So like we all got some shit to work on. Truly. These are just the signs that we chose for signs that are scared of love and how they can work on themselves to not be so scared. No, for sure. And I think truly that, I mean, everyone in the Zodiac, everyone has the capacity to self-sabotage, but yeah. I really feel like all the signs that we pick will really self-sabotage a relationship with like the yeah. quickness. So, if you are crushing, you know what I mean, on one of these signs, know that it's going to take like a little bit more time, Yeah. but it's obviously possible, you know what I mean? Obviously, you have a whole chart and like these people want to love. It's not like, I hate love, you know what yeah. I mean? And once they're committed, they really make great partners, but it will take a little bit more time. And I realized that in our society, people want to move quickly. They yeah. want to fall in love fast and like... That's not necessarily always going to be the Worse. case. Yeah. yeah. Or work out in the long run. I feel like Sag will make you think that it's <laughs> hot and heavy from the start. But yeah. <laughs> will it work out in the long run? No. Probably not. Mm -hmm. We do that. All right, lovely people. Thank you for kicking it with us while we discuss the signs that are the most scared of love. Uh, if you didn't know, your girls, we got a podcast. We talk about a lot of fun shit. Astrology, spirituality, healing, messy celeb gossip, all that good shit. Yeah, good, good. And a lot more. Uh -huh. Not just all that. Right. <laughs> we got a lot to talk about. We talk about like our personal experience. Yeah. Just so many things. So 
so many things. You have to check it out. It's available on all podcast streaming platforms and YouTube mm -hmm. every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And at the end of each video, we have a question that we post here that we discuss further in the podcast. Are you ready for this week's question? Yeah. All right, y'all. The question is, is your Venus sign scared of love? Oh my so God. We're going to get into <laughs> it. I'm a Scorpio Venus. Sagittarius Venus. So, so you yeah. know. <laughs> So check out that pod. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Like I said, links down below. It's gonna be on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed already, so you know that when you know that video comes out, you can watch it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna post our social somewhere over here. Go give us a follow. Mm -hmm. We love you guys so, so, much. so much. Happy Pisces season. 